Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Psych. Just kidding, guys. On to the video. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's time for Q and A. Hey everybody, I'm Todd. And I'm Jason. And this is our little badass Pomeranian Ziggy. And we're... we're the Laughing Guys! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to edition 5 of Q and K. Yep, Q and A! Woohoo! We are just so excited to be sharing with you guys another awesome Q&A video. And you know I like to keep saying and reminding you, keep the questions coming. Mm -hmm. We're going to be answering them in order. So if we haven't gotten to it yet, I promise we will get to your question. So the first question is from Beverly Steer. Now that you have a YouTube channel, do you find that you are recognized while you're in RV parks or tourist spots? That is a really good question. Well, all the time, of course, we're totes famous. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. It's like everywhere we go, people are just like, oh, can I have your it's autograph? Them, it's, them. it's the glamping guys. Oh, my, oh gosh. my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, we're just we're totally joking. In all seriousness, though, it is funny that you asked that question because it did just happen. We were on a cruise, and a gentleman came up to me and said that he recognized me. Specifically, he said he recognized my hair, and he's like, did you and your partner do a video about the Norwegian sun? And I was like, yes, we did. He's like, we watched that, me and my family, and that was one of the reasons that we decided to book the cruise. Great video. So Isn't that cool? It just happened. And it did happen one time where, where I got recognized um, in this park, actually, where we live. Um, mm -hmm. A lady r rode up in her bicycle, and she was just like, hello, glamping guy. And I was like, hi. <laughs> and she just said she was a fan. She watched her videos, and that she was staying for a spell. Super nice lady, and uh, it was great chatting with her. So the next question is from L. Martin. They would like to know, what do you miss about the sticks and bricks life? What is the most freeing aspect of leaving your bricks and uh, sticks and bricks life and going full time? Uh, as far as missing the sticks and bricks life, we do not at all. But I got to tell you, we, we feel we're, we're, we're not even getting started. I know. The next question is from Donna Early. Hi, Jason, Todd, and Ziggy. Hey, Ziggy. Donna's saying hello. You want to say hi back? <laughs> Ziggy says hi. <laughs> My question is, when you three got started on your adventures, did you happen to guesstimate what your expenses would be? How accurate or not were you with your new budget? That's a really, really good question, but we've been planning going full time for about two years. So we spent a lot of that time paying off all of our debt selling everything out of our house that we could sell. Uh, we had no problems with the entire transition of downsizing, uh, getting the truck, we sold Wally, so that was money that we put right back into the new truck that we have. Uh, so we didn't really have any extra expenses even during the downsizing. If anything, we freed up a lot of expenses by paying down our debt. When we sold the house, we used most of that money to buy our new house that we're in right now. And then we had some money left over where we even paid down some more debt, like car payments and stuff like that. So our guesstimates have been pretty much on the money, no pun intended. We're actually even saving more money so I think if you do it correctly we're a good example of showing you how you actually can be more financially independent and more financially free from debt exactly I mean I've got a job that I love and you've got a job that you love mm -hmm. and it works out perfectly yeah that's a great question so we, we hope that we answered that so the next question 
is from Ricky Smithson, and they would like to know: Do you uh, do you travel much in Tennessee? So I'm I'm thinking that that you're you're actually wanna wanna know if we traveled a lot while we were in Tennessee, uh, and uh, Todd will be happy to answer that. Yeah, we uh, hit up kind of like the touristy areas, but they were super fun. We went to Pigeon Forge, and we got to visit Dollywood, which was incredible. And we also went to Gatlinburg, which is just such a fun little mountain town. And I don't know, I feel like we kind of scratched the surface with Tennessee, so as far as traveling much overall, we'd love to go back there and explore the entire state. So the next question is from Ready, Set, Go RV. That's a fun handle. Mm -hmm. Are you still happy you decided to go full time? Yes. yes. Next question is from Sunshine Can Wind Marulo. Marulio? That is interesting. How would you say that? Sunshine Canyon Wind Maria or Marulo? Oh, okay. Canyon Wind. Yeah. Sunshine Canyon Wind Marulo. Cool. That's really neat. I like that handle. That's cool. Hi, guys. Heart emoji. Heart. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your question is, have you ever been afraid when traveling? Like maybe someone looks suspicious, maybe a potential robber. Ooh. And if so, what did you do? Well, as far as RV travels go, we've had pretty great luck. I mean, we really have not encountered anybody or any situation that has felt or appeared to be sketchy. We'll let you know if that changes, of course. Now, when we travel to cities, we're a little bit more on our guard, and especially if we go like out of the country. Like, for instance, when we went to Spain, we like to make the joke that we pickpocketed ourselves mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we had heard there were pickpockets and that the best thing to do was to put your wallet in your front pocket. So we were walking around and we checked our front pocket several times, but you know, as is with us, there are cocktails involved. So mm -hmm. after about four or five of those, Jason like reaches into his back pocket for his wallet to pay for a drink and starts freaking out. He's like, Todd, it happened, a pickpocket, oh my God. And we like freaked out for a full two minutes before real realizing that we kind of like pickpocketed ourselves and <laughs> the wallet was still right. safely in the front pocket. <laughs> so anyway, that happened to us. But you know, it's better to be overly conscientious and freak yourselves out for two minutes than you know, to not prepare for something. So we always try to be safe wherever we go to. Yeah, so, you know, just in all seriousness, common sense is your best friend. Just watch your back. Uh, even in Barcelona, I was even commenting with Todd, uh, I, I was just so amazed at a lot of tourists walking around with backpacks. Yeah, they're comfortable, they're easy to carry around, but if you've got the backpack on your back, and you have all your stuff in your backpack, you could be standing there doing something and you would have no idea if somebody was behind you unzipping your backpack and taking stuff out. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I just wouldn't even take a backpack. No. I would just have very minimal things on me, which is basically was just my wallet and my phone both kept safely in my front pockets that I pretty much had my hand on the entire time we were in Barcelona. Oh my gosh, and convexly, I remember there was that one American tourist that we were just laughing at. He was wearing loose sweatpants, and oh, yeah. his wallet was literally yeah. hanging out yeah. of his pants. Yeah, you could <laughs> see the wallet in his pants. Like falling out. And the opening of the pocket was probably like that wide. I mean... You could just, so easy. Mm -hmm. Good question. Okay, so the next one is Rolling On RV Adventures. All right, that is a cool handle. I like that. Uh, we have been following your channel for quite a while and enjoy it. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Since you are now traveling, do you have any plans to come to Canada? Also, do you have any plans to attend a National Grand Design Rally in Indiana? We met the getaway couple and saw changing lanes at the rally last year. If you attend, it would be great to see you in person and say hello. That is a really awesome question. And uh, I'll kind of start with the Canada first. 
Uh, we have so many things on our bucket list that we uh, write down that we get from watching other YouTube channels, uh, including The Getaway Couple and Changing Lanes. Uh, familiar with both of them. I try to comment on their videos when I can, uh, but uh, they have been a big inspiration for us. Uh, and as of right now, um, we are talking about Canada travel, but we have so many places in the States that we want to kind of knock off our bucket list as well. So once we're on the road full time, uh, we're talking about different scenarios, um, different themes because we love themes we talked about like doing a theme park travel theme we talked about going to all the different lighthouses so there's just so many options uh, but yeah eventually Canada is on our list as well and then to answer the um, last of your question the grand design rally we definitely want to uh, we wish that there was one in the southeast. The closest one that we've seen so far is in Georgia. And as of right now, when they post the, uh, the southeast rally, so far the last two rallies, the dates kind of conflicted with our schedule. But yes, we want to go to one. I personally would love to do the one in Indiana. I've heard that that's one of the biggest. But thank you very much. Those were some really good questions, and we appreciate it. The next question is from Chris Daniel Dahl, and they would like to say that they love Ziggy. Ziggy, did you hear that? Ziggy, you are loved. Ziggy, you are loved. Everybody loves you. You're the star. You're the star. Uh, Woohoo! <laughs> You're the star. Ziggy, doggies. Uh, Ziggy, kitties. Uh, doggies. Uh, Kitties! Chris! Daniel! Doll! Loves! You! Woohoo! Well, Chris, you would like to know how old is Ziggy? Oh. Ziggy is eight years old. Which, in human years, I guess that makes him like a like a nice, right, mature, 40-something-year-old man or something. Yeah, like I think that. he's late, uh, right about now, he's late 40s, early 50s. You never know it. He acts like he's eight months old. He jumps up and down and spins all over the place. Yes, he does. Yeah. He's our little baby. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. You sure are. Thank you. That was a really nice question. We appreciate it. And Ziggy thanks you. Yes. So, the next question is from Lori Frost. And she would like to know, when you leave your lot to travel, does it get used or do we have a yearly lease? Well, basically, our, our lot is ours. We are pretty much, this is our permanent slash semi-permanent, whatever you want to call it. This is our, our home. So we, we don't have a lease. We pay month to month. But while we are gone, for however long we're gone for, no one is using our space. It is ours. So whenever we're going off on a trip, and they usually don't last longer than a couple of weeks, we just notify a few neighbors, we let them know we're going to be out of town, and just to sort of keep an eye on things. And we do have things that, you know, we leave behind. So we just sort of pack everything neatly, kind of in the middle of the lot, have our neighbors look after it, and we're good to go for while we're traveling. But yeah, this, is, um, this lot is our home, and we love it. Yeah, so thank you. That was a wonderful question. And speaking of questions... We are all done with this episode of Q and K. Woohoo! Q oh. and A, another one is wrapped up for the YouTube books. But guys, thank you as usual. And as always, you know what I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. Keep the questions coming so we can keep doing more Q and A videos because I think we have maybe about two more episodes, maybe three, before we're kind of caught up with all the questions we've received so far. So please give us more, ask us anything, even if you want to ask us something a little bit PG-13, we're totally cool with it, but we might have to answer it back you know, in, you know, code. Yeah, the hard G code. Yes, the hard <laughs> G, G code. code. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you as usual. We love all of you. Thank you for watching our channel. And until next time, 
Have a glantastic day and mm-hmm. stay tuned. Yeah, and stay tuned. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. You want to say bye, Ziggy? Good boy! <laughs> bye, guys. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Ah!